Today is April 13, 4 17 p.m. Uh, the market is closed, uh, but we saw some unusual options at the last uh, seven minutes on CSE Limited. Um, this uh, stock, uh, if you look, there was the past uh, one, two, three, four, five, six trading days have been red. It's been on a downtrend for six days in a row. And finally today, it uh, rallied 3% up. Uh, and so uh, we saw these unusual options just being done right at market closing. You'll see here um, at 353 here. Um, oh, here they are. These uh, 1,000 contracts at the 90 calls and another 1,000 which is 2,000 in total, all April 21s, and then the May 19th, the 95 strike calls for 1,000 of them, you see. And so if we look at the, the options chain to find out what they mean, um, the April 21s here, which expires in just eight days, um, you'll see here, this was the strikes here, uh, the 90 call strikes. And because the um, uh, volume is less than the open interest, these could have been closing orders and not necessarily open orders. Um, and same thing with on May 19, which is 36 days away. You'll see here the 95 strike calls. Is uh, The volume here is also less than the open interest of 1,500. So these uh, could also be closing orders. Um, and uh, let's assume that these were all just uh, opening orders. Uh, okay, and so if they were opening orders, we think they had bought the 95 strikes and then they had uh, sold uh, two of these. So what is uh, what would this uh, trade look like? Um, this is, yeah, assuming if they were, um, you know, uh, opening orders, then this trade would actually be um, slightly bullish. It would, uh, if as long as it doesn't uh, go past ninety-one dollars by April twenty-one, uh, it is a profitable trade with um, lots of positive theta to help out. You'll see here a very positive theta as the price goes up. Um, and uh, you'll see here the theta actually increases even more. Um, and so this trade, um, if it does drop, there's the, the, the loss you can you notice here is, is it's very minimal. So the risk is very low for a drop uh, because they had uh, sold those 90 calls and uh, and so that's the um, that's what it's uh, looks like if there was so if we look at the break evens right so the break even here expiration let's say it goes to April 21 expires so now their break even is 80 at 83 dollars okay so and 91.4 so as long as it's between 83 and 91.4 this is a profitable trade so is that does that look make sense um, 83 dollars is basically today the low of today and the 91 dollars uh 91.43 where is that so that's actually pretty high up there so it's all the way up here. So as long as it stays above and stays above here, it's a profitable trade, right? So all this is would be profitable uh, only if it would to go past 91.4, which is about here, right? So that's what this trade looks like if it if they are um, opening orders and uh, 
and this is taking advantage of this very um, high theta um, trade um, and uh, and minimizing the risk to the downside in case it continues to drop the the thinking is that uh, after this many days of red days it's uh, done and has probably bottomed out and that's what uh, what this trade looks like if they are opening orders again um, since these are um, not uh, since the volume was not uh, higher and then the open interest were not completely 100% sure but tomorrow we will look into this and then we'll make our decision on our trade based on then the data by looking at the open interest of these uh, expiration dates so then you just we just have to be patient for one day to decide what is the best trade to put on for this uh, for this uh, stock okay I uh, hope everyone uh, learned something uh, if you did please uh, give us a like uh, and uh, subscribe and uh, helps us continue making these videos for everyone to learn how to use unusual options all right take care and have a great day